focus a lot on your ability to sell. The bottom line is, it doesn't matter who you are, it doesn't matter what you do, everybody has to sell at all times. Whether you're selling yourself, whether you're selling your business, whether you're trying to be like my sales guy and ask a girl on a date, which he does a lot, you have to sell, okay? And the bottom line is, when you have in your mind that you have to sell, and then you put it into your culture that you have to sell, everybody sells. So let me give you another example, and then I'll let you guys ask some questions, but in our, in our company, every single person has a commission structure. Whether you're front desk, whether you're a carpenter, whether you're an intern, you get the same commission, everybody does. In fact, you get the same commission as our sales guy who goes out and this is what he does all day, right? People said, you're crazy, why would you pay a commission to your secretary if someone walks in your office? The reason is because if someone's making $50,000 and they can make $10,000 by having a really nice conversation, what do you think they're gonna do? When you walk into my office, my secretary stands up, she's shaking your hand, she's grabbing you, you're getting coffee, I mean, we have amazing coffee, by the way, but you're getting drinks and she's taking care of you, okay? And the reason is because she cares so deeply because I've, we've motivated her to care, right? I can't say, hey, I'm gonna pay you 50 grand and every time someone comes in, you better be on. You better be in a great mood and I know that you're probably having some financial issues and things like that, but you better be jacked up when people come in. I can say that and then I can say, well, I'll just keep firing people until that happens, but it's not realistic. That's never gonna happen, right? So every single employee gets that. So here's what starts to happen. My superintendents, who are the guys that you see in hard hats and all tatted up, and you know they, they work at the job, then they go to the bar, then they go to bed, and then they wake up, and they do that all over. That's their life, that's 40 years, right? Those guys don't sell shit in the construction industry. They just don't do that. In our company, they do. Our superintendents account for 10 to 15% of our sales every year, because they're on the site, and when the owner gets on the site, this guy goes, oh my God, I can make 15 grand. I can make 20 grand. We just paid somebody who was getting married, by the way. She was about to get married. She was like, okay, I gotta go out and sell. So she went to all of her jobs, hoping she'd run into an owner. She met the owner. She ran into the owner at one of her sites. She walks up, she shakes hands, she goes, hey, you know, new path is great. Gives the whole new path spiel, right? Turns out, these guys were building, we were, we were building a Dairy Queen for them. Turns out they also own a bunch of Shell gas stations. They loved her, they loved the approach, so they got a Shell gas station. So again, somebody who makes $60,000 made $15,000 in a single push. My point is that you can't be greedy over what you don't have. I believe deeply that every single person in your company should be on some sort of sales program. You gotta pay people, 